Hey everybody, just thought I'd do a video this morning. I got this uh, Polaris Ranger 570. Uh, mice got underneath the front seat and they chewed the wiring harness to the computer and the diagnostic connector. Uh, a friend of mine brought it in. He wanted to know if I'd be able to hook up to it and read. Um, I wasn't sure, but I just wanted to show you how I was able to do that. Uh, I got on the internet and I found an eight pin to OBD2 uh, diagnostic connector. You can see it right down here. That's the eight pin to the diagnostic side and then goes to my OBD2. Um, right now, I'm using an Autel uh, HD scanner. It's a 906 CV. Uh, I did have limited success with my little Nexlink uh, NL102, um, but it wouldn't give me a data stream. It would read codes and it would clear codes that were not active. Uh, let me just give you guys a clear picture here. If you go into like a heavy duty OBD, I'm going to do standalone. Go into your protocols. Go to J1939 over here. Now this is again a commercial scanner. It's a HD protocol. Um, so that's what you're really looking for in a scanner if you're trying to do something like this. It'll take a minute to communicate, but there I've got Diagnostic trouble code and freeze frame data. I've got my live data um, Some mode 6 if you know what that's all about. Uh, we'll just go into DTC's the Only problem with these all tells is the damn glare on the screen Okay, now I've got all of my factory Polaris codes listed over here. And here I've got whether they're active or if they were history previous. Uh, you can see I've got some accelerator pedal codes. I've got an engine coolant temp code. So I'm going to exit out of here. I'm going to check my data stream. And this is just for particularly those trouble codes. Um, I'm going to go into engine one and see what it will give me for a data PID or a data parameter. Uh, here you can see what I've got. Um, don't really much care about the torque load. It's not running. It will tell me nothing there. Maximum speed limits in different gears, 155 in a Polaris. I don't think so. Engine coolant temps reading negative 40 right now, so I should be able to troubleshoot a wiring problem there. Um, if I scroll down to my throttle position, I'm at 10.4%, uh, and this has 450 hours on it. Anyways, that's what you can read with a commercial scanner on a Polaris if you just spend about $20 and get the 8-pin uh, cable. Hope this helps you.